Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 19 of my season 2 hardcore survival let's play. So in this episode, I wanted to finish off the villager breeder. I've actually worked on it a little bit during this week's Zoom classes. I'm, I, I'm scared to say that next semester probably I, I won't be working on stuff during Zoom classes. Hopefully I'll be back in person, but uh, we're going to start off by grabbing... A, uh, I don't think we're going to need more than 64 beds. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest here. I, I grabbed a lot more than I think I needed because... We're probably not going to make more than 64 beds. Let's let's be real here, guys. Um, but yeah, I finished out the underside of the villager breeder. You can see some of the materials I was using. Uh, but I had to make a ton more gray concrete, which it wasn't a big deal at all. Um, but I'll go ahead and show that off to you guys right now. And then I'll clean up my inventory. We'll make some beds and uh, see if we can't get a ton of villagers. That was... I need to not do that. So you guys were commenting about this should keep the villagers in just because they can't open fence gates. And uh, since there's two of them, I'm not really worried. But yeah. Look at this big, beautiful McDonald's. <laughs> and then we come down below to the villager breeder area. So I'm just going to put rows and rows and rows of beds down here. Uh, just ignore this. I did not. I did not miss that. Um, but yeah, we're going to put rows and rows of beds down here. I don't necessarily care if they're any specific color or not. We're not really going to see them a whole lot. Uh, but yeah, let me go and clean up my inventory a little bit. Then I'll meet you guys back down there. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments, but let me know if you can tell that the video quality is much, much higher. Uh, the video, especially if you're watching on 1440p, uh, the video quality should be extremely high. So if you want to look at my sponsorship a little bit, who I got sponsored by, go and check out my Instagram. You can find my Instagram. It's just the Neo Cubist. I'm not trying to like plug myself or anything, just if you're curious. Um, but I'm going to be working with NZXT, which is really cool. So I'm very excited to work with them. They sent over a computer, and uh, I'm going to be making some pretty amazing content with it. So make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss it. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and read off the specs here, just because I'm sure some of you guys are curious. It has an RTX 3090. It's an EVGA FTW3. I don't know, for the win 3. I don't really know what you'd call it. But yeah, I have a 3090 now. <laughs> so if you want to see it. Yeah, I have a 3090 now. Um, I have an i9-10980XE, which is an 18-core processor. So that's really good for video rendering. Um, not good for much else, no. A lot of you guys are like, I don't really care about your computer specs, but it's got 128 gigabytes of RAM and then two, two terabyte NVMe SSDs. So basically, it's just like the best computer you can pretty much build. The CPU isn't the best, uh, but it's about as good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That is, uh, I'm going to take a screenshot of that just because, <laughs> what? <laughs> I wonder if I could open that up again and just like, okay. All right. So basically we're just going to put rows and rows of beds. Like I, I was not exaggerating. I'm not going to film a whole ton of this because it's this times <laughs> this video. So let me put this row of beds down and then we'll, we'll, we'll figure out where we're going to put the second row. Cause yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, now one thing I did not think of is since there isn't a door here, I don't know if they'll necessarily recognize this as an actual house yet. So what I'm going to do here is I don't have any gray concrete with me, but it's it's honestly okay. I could go grab the gray concrete. What am I saying? It's literally in my house. It's like literally right over here. I'm like trying to get lazy with you guys. It's like literally right here. Hold on. Let me grab some concrete. Yeah, the storage room is looking kind of nice. That's one thing I wanted to do this weekend was make a nice storage room. Um, and then obviously we're finishing the villager breeder now just so that they can start, you know, actually multiplying. There's only three in there. And I, I realize now that like they're never going to actually multiply because, well, well there's, there's no beds or anything. So we're going to go down here and uh, we're just going to make ourselves a door. And I think that they will, or we're going to make ourselves two doors and we're going to hope that they use these doors. Okay. And there we go. Now I hear a skeleton. I don't know exactly where that is. I'm not going to worry about it, but I am kind of worried because it's like near my villagers. And that means we're going to get a ton of iron golem spawns, but that's honestly okay. Anyways, let me get back to placing the beds. It's actually really funny because I literally ran out of wool. I was like, there's no way I'm going to need more than 64 beds. Uh, but that'll allow us at least to get, I think, 64 villagers, which I'm not so sure we're going to need more than that. Uh, they're going to be confined to a very small McDonald's. Now, I know over time that thing is going to fill up with iron golems, so I'm not really super excited for that. But there's not a whole ton, that, unfortunately, I can do about it. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the sheep shearing automated machine thing is working pretty well. Uh, I think the corner sheep are getting a little bit uh, a little bit angry that they just have to sit there all day. But it's okay. They're Minecraft sheep. They don't mind. 
Hey, I just opened this door, came down here, and look, we got our first baby villager. So it looks like they uh, they enjoy the <laughs> they enjoy jumping on the beds too. So it looks like everything is working okay down here. I don't know if we'll need necessarily that many more beds, but I figure I'll sort of finish off this thing. I just did rows, and then I left the edges open just in case they want to like walk around them. I'm not sure that they could pathfind any other way. Um, and then there's a little corner over here, which I mean I guess we can throw a few more down. Uh, we need to actually craft one more bed, right? <laughs> And then we should be going on vets. And now we just let this thing run, and it'll kind of work. And uh, when we come back, there should just be a ton of villagers, which is going to be... I mean, that's the goal, so good. Now, I'm hoping they didn't... Okay, let me organize this real quick. All right, and there we go. It looks like it's night, so we'll go ahead and... Oh, it's not night. They're just... Are you guys taking a break early? Is it? Is it night? It does not look dark. Maybe they go to bed early. Okay, they, they go to bed earlier than we can, actually. That's a fun fact. I, I, I didn't know that. And it's nice just to carry around this bed with me. It really is. So I was thinking about, I was driving in the car and grabbing some lunch. And I was thinking, man, I speak to a lot of people. Like, there's a lot of you guys out there. Like, it's absolutely crazy. Sometimes I take it for granted, like, how many people I can talk to. So hello to all of you. I hope you guys are doing good. You guys should say hi in the comments. I know a ton of you guys lurk on my videos, but you guys really should say hi in the comments. And I'd love to, I'd love to read you guys, all the people out there who've never commented on YouTube before. You should make it, you should make this video your first, because I'd love to say hi. Um, I'll try to say hi to you guys, but th there's just so many people. I always feel bad. Don't, don't feel bad if I don't respond to you. There's, there's, there's too many people. It's hard. Uh, but yes, okay, so the villager breeder is set up. That is all nice, all fine and dandy. Um, and one thing I did want to work on before we get to building a storage, I don't know if we'll do that next episode or what. Um, this road is beautiful. Uh, everything looks nice. Um, I'm very happy that we got all these street lights done. Now, I, you guys have been complaining because I because I plug my Discord too much. And, I, uh, you know, I, I'm completely open to feedback. But the reason I do that is because I do do live streams. I do do lives. I do live streams, and basically, YouTube doesn't really send out notifications very well for live streams. So, if you don't want to miss a live stream, I send out a little notification on my Discord server. So, if you don't want to miss that, join my Discord server. Link is in the top pinned comment down below and also in the description. And uh, if you want to learn more about NZXT PCs, they make a really good PC. So, go ahead and check out the link in the comments as well if you, if you want to. If you want to. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to let this thing run, and we're going to, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to read the suggestions channel right now, and we're going to get some cool ideas for the Let's Play series. So that's another thing, is where I get a lot of ideas for this world is through my Discord server, and uh, all the ideas are user-generated from you guys, the viewers, and uh, basically all you have to do is go on my Discord server, go in the suggestions channel, and if you have an idea for something you want to see me do, put it there. And I'll do it most of the time, it, it, you know, if it's like a good idea. We still only have one lone villager, but that's okay. Uh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right, buddy. You, you're going to have some friends very soon. Okay, so yeah, let me read the Discord suggestions channel. We're going to get a good idea, and then we're going to go do it. So thank you guys for everyone who puts ideas in the suggestions channel. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Also, before I read that, I, I keep hearing noises, and I'm pretty sure that this right here is where the noises are coming from. So if you guys remember, this is that cave that has our nether portal in it. We need to make a better entrance to this thing because it's kind of... I had to build around this area and the parking lot had to be built around here. But I'm pretty sure this is where the skeleton was hanging out. I don't hear the skeleton anymore, nor do I see it. So I'm just going to assume that assume that it's gone. Oh, I thought I'd lost a baby villager. That was actually highly irresponsible of me. Just leaving a door open with a child around. Oh, what am I thinking? All right, let me read the suggestions. Okay, so this suggestion isn't from any one person, so I'm not going to shout anyone out. Uh, tons of people said this, and I also was planning on doing this anyways. I need to make a cow farm because, <laughs> you know, we had one at one point, and then we kind of, well, we built a McDonald's <laughs> in its place, which is kind of ironic. We don't serve food, though. It's only for villagers. It's the villager McDonald's. They, they serve carrots. This is a vegan establishment, you see. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm basically going to build a modern area for the cows. I don't really know how this is going to work, but hopefully some of the cows are still hanging around here. Um, and also, if you want to see what the computer looks like, it looks... I know I've said this like three times. I'm sorry. I'm just really excited to finally have like a really cool sponsor. Because, uh, you know, I've got a lot of sponsorship opportunities in the past, but no one I really wanted to work with. And when like, you know, NZXT wants to work with you, you work with them because <laughs> they're like... I don't know. They're just a really cool company. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see how the custom computer looks, then definitely check out my Instagram because it looks absolutely incredible. You'd be very surprised. And you can follow me on Instagram if you want. You don't have to. I'm not trying to 
push that or anything. I just want you guys to see it. I want to share my excitement with you guys. Okay, so we're going to grab some concrete because that's what we've been building stuff out of. I don't know exactly where this is going to go, to be honest. Maybe around this area. Let's just see what's under this. Is it stone? Pots all. That's not what I was expecting. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments, please, if you guys can tell that the video quality is better. Um, you know, with this new rig, I set up a new way of recording, and hopefully it's like just really, really good quality. Uh, but I'm curious to see what the end user, you guys, actually think about the quality. And if you think it's better, cool. If you don't think it's better, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, but yeah, we're going to clear out this area. I, I assume, I, I know I didn't say anything, but we're clearing this out. We're going to build um, some sort of modern cow pen thingy. I really don't know what that actually entails, but we're going to find out together. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be an interesting build. Um, I don't know if it's going to be like an auto cow farm or anything like that. I basically just want, I know it's loud. I basically just want a big pen of cows like I normally do, um, but with a modern theme. So I'm trying to think how you do that. <laughs> And I really don't know. I think I'm going to use like glass panes and like pillars of concrete or something like that. I don't know. Here, we're going to go over here and we're going to we're, we're just going to try some stuff out. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And that's OK. Now, I'm going to use leads to do this. I do not want to do it again. Oh, we have four leads, too, which is nice. I do not want to do it where I get sheep in there because, you know, we don't really need the sheep. We have an auto sheep farmer. Uh, but yeah, we're going to grab some concrete, probably probably white concrete that's what i'm envisioning here is white concrete and we have this white concrete powder as well that we can make um into actual concrete but i don't know we're actually not going to need that much i don't know why i grabbed that we're only going to need probably this and then how much glass do we have oh so these are white uh, i really wanted black glass so yeah we're going to smelt up some sand which is no problemo no problem you know we got tons of glass i actually failed spanish one I said no problemo and I always say that stuff. I literally failed Spanish one. <laughs> it was in middle school that they made us take Spanish. And for some reason, I just, I don't even know, dude. I Don't ask me, okay? It was not a hard class. I remember my Spanish numbers. Uh, <laughs> that's about it. Uh, you know, I got uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, diez, ocho. <laughs> That's 18, I think. Okay, anyways, we're gonna let, we're gonna let the glass in here smelt, and then I think oh, I was gonna say I think we have some black dye. Like, yeah, you think, dude? You literally. Oh, it's, oh it's, never mind. I was like, yeah, you think, dude? You literally have like a squid farm. I think you're gonna be okay. But we actually have our excess dirt storage up on the second floor, which is kind of hilarious. Like, we literally have so many. We just have too many resources. I don't need grass. I think my shovel has silk touch, so I end up getting a bunch of grass. We don't need one seed. Uh, the clay, I'm not so sure why it's in my inventory. But yeah, let me wait for this glass to smelt, and then we'll go build a pen. Okay, well, while we're, while we're waiting for the grass to do its thing, we're going to make the cow pen. Um, we, you know, of course, it's going to require a little bit of glass, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to build like that far away, and we're going to make these pillars three blocks high. Now, I need to figure out what to top these with, but I think... Actually, I, I don't... See, I have this really cool envisioned idea in my head, but I don't know realistically how well I can do it. I'm trying to think, what could I top this with? Could it be some slabs? Could it be something like that? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Actually, I have a really cool idea. Yeah, we're going to use smooth stone because we have a ton of smooth stone, right? And we never really get to use it all that much. And we do not need as much smooth stone as I grabbed. Actually, we may need, we may need a good bit. Okay. So I don't know how well this is going to work. We really, really, this is like we're in uncharted territories. I've never seen anyone make a modern cow pen, um, but it's going to be interesting. So there's that. So we're going to have three, four, we're going to have one, two, three, four, actually one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're going to have a five block space in between all the pillars. And they're going to be topped like this. One, two, three, four, five, and then another one. And then one, two, three, four, five, and then another one that's perfectly lined up too. Um, can we jump to this one? Ugh. Nope. Okay. Actually, you know what? We got to get the MLG bucket in. We've been forgetting about those. And I, you know, I, I could very well hit this, you know, on, on the new PC. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go over here. I don't think we can add another one. Yeah. Three and then five. Yeah. It's a little too close for comfort. So we'll go over here. Three and then five and then boom, three, five, boom. And then basically I could just line these up pretty easy here. Now this is where it gets tricky because I will have to modify this a little bit. Uh, which is okay. It's really not that big of a deal. I think this is right in the middle. 
Um, the only place I was talking about having to modify is maybe a little bit of grass here. And when, when you have efficiency five, this is why I said I want to wait to do a bunch of projects till I have really nice tools because you see how much easier this is? Oh yeah. And now look, it's already almost fixed, pretty much. Now we just have to take back a little bit of this dirt and then, you know, maybe some dirt right there, maybe fill this in and we're pretty much good. Yep, pretty much. Ain't much else I want to do around these parts. <laughs> you guys always have like, how do you do that accent, Neo? Like, dude, I'm from Oklahoma, okay? And no no one really talks like that when they're in the city. Uh, you know, like Oklahoma City, you know, any, you know, part just like a city. But some places, you know, in like the, you know, outskirts of Oklahoma, you know, the parts that isn't in city, that aren't in cities, you know, maybe they use some, some language like that. And so it's like... I don't know, you, you know, and I know people that talk like that, kind of, at least their parents. <laughs> so, you know how it is here in Oklahoma. It's not a bad place to live, okay? It's got a low cost of living. So, if you know, you're, you're trying to find a new state to live in, and you know, you want to save up a bunch of money and buy a really big house for not very much money, then come to Oklahoma. We're, we'll, we'll be glad to have you. Glad to have your tax money. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I think we have more than enough glass smelted at this point because panes really are like super quick. Um, they're like super like efficient for crafting, so I'm really not too worried. Although I am going to make the glass, okay, we're going to make this into the dye variant first. I am going to make the glass into the actual colored blocks first. So we'll get the black color there and then we'll just make it into panes. How much does that give you? Oh, wow. Okay, so quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. Now, it is going to take quite a bit. Basically, my idea is to fill in the insides of these. And I want to try something, dude. I got some idea. I got some, I got some just really good inspiration right now. I don't know where from, uh, but I'm getting some really nice inspiration. We're going to put the shovel up there. Um, so, since, you know, cows are like, you know, you know, spotted creatures. I'm trying to think, what is the main color of a cow? I'm thinking of a dairy cow, too. Yeah, but they're like black with like some gray spots, right? Uh, well, you know, the majority of, of this glass can be black, but then have some gray spots on the inside like this. Just just do some white on the inside. Hmm? Something like that? Could that look cool if we do it all the way around? I don't know. I'm going to do this all the way around and then I'll let you know because it's going to be painstaking. I am not the kind of YouTuber to make you watch me do this. I don't think anyone would. We'll do one more on camera and then, uh, and then we'll do the rest off camera. Oh, yeah, that looks really nice. I'm actually a big fan of that. Uh, so when we look at it from far away. Oh, yeah, dude, that looks modern as heck. All right. Um, now, uh, another, you know, good touch for a modern build, of course, is the bushes. So we're going to go in here and grab a little bit of spruce bush, spruce, spruce bushery. Um, now we can make we don't have a wheat farm anymore, which means we got to make a wheat farm next episode, but that's okay, right? Like, I don't mind making a wheat farm at all. That's actually kind of a fun thing to do. Um, why do I have bricks in my inventory? Oh, I took out the clay. That's right. Okay. I was like, where did I get this clay? Where did I get the bricks? But then I remembered. Um, now, as for how... Yeah, that's actually fine. Um, as for how we're going to get the cows in here, I do not know. Uh, we just need to get the initial cows in. Actually, no, we have to have a way for me to get out. I can't just, like, I can't say that and then just, like, have, not have a way to get in and out. But I think, honestly, like, like the best solution for this is just have a ladder on the back that I can climb and that they can't climb. So we're going to go over here. We're going to go in our wood chest, and we're going to grab our stack of ladder, our trusty ladder stack. So hashtag, hashtag tr trust, trusty ladder stack oh, yeah i can type without looking now hashtag trusty ladder stack if you know you know type of deal so oh no i'm saying it in videos <laughs> so I, I was doing this joke with my friend and I, I know it's, it sounds kind of weird but i kept saying type of deal so and then it just stuck and i just keep saying it like i have not stopped it's, it's been months so i've just been saying type of deal so i'll be like you know <laughs> type of deal so i don't know why but yeah this is how we can get in and out now keep in mind that we got to get some initial cows in here so I'm going to bust a hole in this bad boy. And uh, the good part is, you know, we got that silk touch. So we don't got to worry about losing our materials here. So we got all the things we need. Okay. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to eat first, of course. And we're going to grab some cows. Now, will this will this work correctly? Uh, like nine. I have, I have like 9% assurity that it will work correctly. Now, you may be wondering what I'm about to do. 
gosh, I keep hiccuping. I'm like trying to hold it in so I don't like hiccup on camera, but only you guys mind, right? You know I'm a human. You know, my body does stuff and uh, that's just the way it is. Um, I, I wanted to make some hay bales to stick in there, but like uh, I just don't have much wheat to spare, right? And I'm not trying to like go through and waste a bunch of wheat. But I wanna, what I wanted to do is go in here and just like... Just like put some gravel down. Maybe not a big row of gravel like that. I don't know why. I just feel like in a cow pen, it's not going to be like perfect, like just a grass field. I feel like you're going to have like areas that are going to have like a little bit of like, you know, wear and tear to them. So we're going to put our uh, farmer Neo, uh, we're going to put some gravel down in here. So we'll see how that looks. Now, of course, the grass in here is going to grow, right? Like, it's not going to be like this forever, but I think it looks pretty good. So we'll wait for the grass to grow before we judge how it looks. Well, let's go see if we if we ain't can't get some of them cows. Oh, gosh. Okay, so... Okay, these guys are close-ish. So we're going to get one, two, three. The fact that you can use multiple leads at once is, like, the best thing. And then we're going to... Because I had never used leads before this series. We're just going to run. This is, like... This is, uh, this is interesting. Okay, so there, oh, did we lose one? We lost one over? Where, where did we lose one? How could we have lost one? Is it right here? Right here? We lost another? What do you guys, what's wrong with you guys? What's, stay connected, man. What, what are you, come on, I'm going slowly. Okay, maybe don't run with them or something. Where's that other lead? Okay, it's all the way up here. Did we lose another one? No, that one's okay. Okay, there we go. No, we only have two. We lost this one again. Okay, buddy, come here. And you, come here. Okay, let's go. Can I make it down the hill with them? Maybe. Okay, I still have four leads coming out of me, so I'm confident that, 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 that this is working. We need to get the black glass. Okay. And then just, just, I know they're like, whoa, whoa, where are you taking us, man? What is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. We were in captivity our whole life, and now you're taking us back? It's like, yes, 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 yes. Okay, now how do I cut the leads? Okay, so not hard. And then we just go over here and uh, boom, 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 bada bing, bada, bada doom. There we go. Now we got cows in the room. Now we just need to have wheat to breed them. What are you doing? You get out of here, you dirty dog. Over here, over here trying to spread your garbage trades to the world. I really need those leads. Give me them, give me them leads, brother. Please give me them leads. Thank you, thank you. So now we have six leads. <laughs> so now we can take six cows at once whenever we want. Whenever we want, we can just take six cows without a worry in the world. That's pretty cool. Um, now I'm going to bring a barrel over there. Sort of like how we did this last time. Do I have any barrels in here? For once, I don't have any barrels. No barrels over. Okay. Let me make some barrels real quick. And a barrel dd -de And a barrel dd do I have 12 of you. Okay, so we're gonna put the wheat in there, but I gotta I gotta throw this wheat. Hold on, let me clean my inventory. Okay, so we got our barrels. We're gonna grab our wheat and then we should be good. Now we are, like I said, we're gonna really need a wheat farm at some point because, well, this is all the wheat we have in the, <gasps> we gotta get it. We gotta get the fish. We gotta get the fish, we need a fishing rod. We need a fishing rod, dude, we need the fishing rod. We don't have, do we have a fishing rod? No, we don't have a fish around. Do we have any? Do we have any? Yeah, we got some string. Okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got to get some fish. We got to get some fish ASAP. And you know, you know, the sad part is, is I don't even have 30 levels to do an enchant, but we're going to. Wait, wait, wait. Do we have any fish? Do we have any fish? We have to have some fish from, from the beginning of the game. No. Do, 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 do. Hold on. We're just going to hunt with, with her hand. We're going to hunt with her hand. Salmon, come here. I need you to capture, uh, not capture, but. Obtain a kitty. Okay, come here, salmon. Thank you, thank you. Do I even have looting on this sword? Sharpness three. Oh, that's right. I have a garbage sword, and I really need to get a better sword. Okay, if this cat is not happy with five salmon, then it's just it's not meant to be. Also, I gotta I gotta sleep. Oh no 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 no! What is going on? Where did it go? Oh, it's my inventory. <laughs> I didn't even notice. So I was like, where did it go? Come on, come on, come on. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Go, 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 go. Please, I need the kitty. I need the kitty. I need the kitty. Where is it? Give me your buddy. Give me your buddy. Where'd you go? He was running this way last I saw. Okay, I'm trying not to scare him. Oh, here you are. Come on. Come on. <laughs> We're going to get the kitty. Come here, buddy. Kitty, 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 kitty. Come here. 
Let me give you. <laughs> yes, this is called the salmon. Yes, this is called the salmon. Yeah, that's a good kitty. <laughs> we got a kitty. And that's a Freya kitty, too. So this looks like my cat in real life. I think the eye color is a little bit different. But for once, we actually got a cat that looks like my cat in real life. It's like that this sort of brown fur. I always thought she had a unique coat, but you know. You know me. I sound like one of those people who's like, oh, I thought my cat had a unique coat. I did, okay? She, her, she has like a brown color, and it's like, I don't see many kitties with brown color. Okay, we're going to name we're gonna name the cat Freya, which is appropriate. So we're going to go in here. We're going to pay the price, which is, I think, pretty cheap. We're going to put this in here so we can enchant it at one point. Uh, we're just going to name it Freya. Freya. Just like the Norse goddess from mythology. Where's the kitty? Did I shut the kitty in here? No? Where's the kitty? You're real creepy, dude. Wandering around. I'm not having you around here anymore. I don't, I don't like that. Um, okay, well, I seem to have lost the cat. <laughs> uh, where could this cat have gone? Come on, please. Are you over here? No, it's not a cat. Okay. What? I'm so confused. Where did the cat go? Is it in my house? Did I really lose the kitty already? <laughs> I had it for less than like, oh, yes, you're in the house. Here you go. You like the plants? You should like the plants? <gasps> yes, we got Freya. There we go. Can you sit right there? Can you go in between the flower pots? Can you sit on the flower pot? Oh, nice. <laughs> cool. Well, as I'm doing this, you guys can hear, we have another cat outside. So we're going to go grab this one. Now, this does not look like the other cat I have, Loki. This this looks like just a just a standard cat, which is okay. Actually, you know what? We're going to wait. We're going to wait. So basically, I think the villager breeder is working very well. We're going to go check it now because I have not checked it yet. Uh, I don't know why this torch is here. We're going to break it. Um, I have not checked the villager breeder since we built it in the beginning of the video. So we're going to find out together how many little baby villagers do we have. Oh, we got three. And we got an iron golem. You used a big boy. You used a big boy. Uh, so yeah, we got three baby villagers, which is nice. Not a bad deal. Three baby villagers. Three baby villagers. Pretty cool. I'm happy with it. And hopefully they'll just keep on a coming, and then we can eventually have our very own library. Library filled with librarians. That's a tongue twist. Try to say that twice. I guess it's not that hard. <laughs> okay, so as for how we're going to do this wheat farm, guys, I really don't know. Originally, I had planned to do, like, a big, like, giant, like, I don't know, kind of mega farm somewhere, but, like, this whole area look if we're going to do a wheat farm i want to go big or go home so i really want to have the wheat farm be like over here uh but the only issue being is that we have to clear out oh my gosh there's so many cats around here now it's not a bad thing but we need to clear out all of this area right here um so that's something i might save for the live stream of course i'm not going to film something like that but we really do need a wheat farm at this point um, but yeah, I want to build it like over here, just in a nice big square. I don't think we'll put it in a modern building or anything. Uh, but just to kind of remind myself, we're going to go over here and we are going to set the precedent. We just need to look over here and see what we're comfortable with kind of shaving off. So I'm going to go with like right here. So we're going to take this line all the way down uh, to the end of the road. So give me a second. I'm going to do that. I at least took all the dirt out of here again we'll we'll definitely do this on a live stream this is just something that would take too long even doing it off camera uh, but yeah this is essentially what i was planning on doing is i'm just going to cut off all of this part of dirt and then we'll eventually put a big wheat farm in there so if you guys don't want to miss out on the live streams again I, i'm sorry i pushed the discord server so much i do apologize for those of you who it annoys but that's all i do like i'm trying i'm trying to make sure you guys don't miss any content that you might or might not want to see and if you don't want to see it you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to join the Discord server. You don't have to do anything, of course. No one can tell you what to do. Uh, but if you want to, I encourage it because I don't want you guys to miss it. But yeah, let me finish clearing out a little bit more of this stone just so I can say I've actually like cleared out a line. And then I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, so just the last few blocks here and we're done. So there you go. So that's all I have to clear. So, you know, <laughs> it's not actually that much. You know, it seems like a good bit, but... Eh, 
eh, it, maybe it wouldn't take too long. Maybe we'll work on that next episode or something. That could be kind of fun. Uh, we could do a mega wheat farm here, but it would take a lot of like, it, the, the hard part isn't necessarily like the, you know, the grass. We have to do that in like 10 minutes. Maybe we'll do that next episode. We'll come back next episode and I'll have all that done. We'll see. You'll find out next episode. But let me go in here and let me put some of the barrels in here. And we're just going to fill them up with wheat. And then we'll, we'll do a pile of barrels in the center. Actually, last time I did a pile of barrels, I had some issues. Uh, maybe we'll do a pile of barrels. Hmm. I'm trying to think. The only thing I think about with issues is that like they can climb on them. And when you're breeding them, it can be harder. Um, but they look really nice. You, you guys know what I'm talking about, though, right? Like, just a pile of barrels like this. You guys know what I mean? Maybe if they all have a minimum of two. But no, then they can climb up right here. So, a pile of barrels. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what's, what's the point of that pile of barrels, my guy? And it's like, uh, nothing. <laughs> okay. So, just have a pile of barrels in there, and we'll just throw wheat into one of them. Of course, let's go ahead and get our next two cows going. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the cow, the, the, the cow farm. You know, it's a modern cow pen. That's really all it is. It's all I promised and it's all I delivered. So I don't know if it's as modern as everyone was hoping. You know, not, not that they were like, you know, hoping. By the way, Freya, you can you can you can do whatever you want around here. Um, I need to make you some sort of water bowl or something like that so that, you know, Freya can drink some water. So maybe we'll go over here and maybe we'll put some dirt up and then let's go over here and we'll throw up some of the stone. I know my inventory literally is like a wrecked mess. It's just, there's so much stuff, dude. So much stuff in my inventory. Uh, but yeah, let's go over here. Let's make a, where is it? We'll go on the die. Where did I put that stuff, that clay? I know I put it in concrete. That's right. So we'll make a food bowl and a water bowl. Now I'm not sure how else to do this, but we're just going to we're just gonna put them down like right here and here. So a food bowl and a water bowl. We'll pretend. We'll pretend. Even though it's right actually it's right next to the pots. That's not believable. We'll go on the other side. We'll do it right here. There we go. Food bowl and a water bowl. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, cool. I'm happy with it. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, it's been about 30 minutes, so I'm going to have to end this episode. I hope I see you guys in tomorrow's episode, so be sure you're subscribed. And uh, if you're not subscribed, then what are you doing? Why are you watching me if you've watched this far? I'm just kidding. You don't have to subscribe. Maybe you're the kind of person who doesn't subscribe to anyone. If that's the case, don't do it. But please, if you'd like to, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Also, if you want to see the live streams, you want to be sure and not miss them, join the Discord server. That's the only reason I make you join it. I don't spam anything. I promise I won't bother you guys. Uh, but join the Discord server if you want to give me suggestions or you want to see the live streams. It's a very helpful way to do so. Uh, if you're not subscribed and you do want to subscribe, please do subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And if you would also wouldn't mind leaving a like on the video, I very much so would appreciate that too. And again, like I said, you can follow me on Instagram. It's just the Neo Cubist. If you look me up, you can find me there. If you want to see a picture of the new PC that NZXT sent me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode 20. Bye.